Hey guys, what's going on? It is Jack Hunter with Monkey Toss TV, and today the whore of whores is with his icons. The horror icons, Jason and Freddy Krueger, Kane Hodder and Robert England. And today we're going to talk about their new movie, or actually new series they're going to be working with together on FearNet called Fear Clinic. Now, what was it like teaming up together once again in this awesome show on FearNet? I, th I thought we were going to get to toss a monkey. <laughs> well, well, I'm here. Promise me. Well, I'm uh, going to have to toss you then. Uh, uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> no, we know Fear, Fear Clinic is a, a script I got in the mail, mm -hmm. and uh, I, I get a lot of I get a lot of stuff in genre, and uh, it was it just rose to the surface like cream, mm -hmm. and uh, I heard some names bandied about Robert Hall, who I'd worked with before, one of the top effects guys, and a, and, a, and a hot young director, uh, and I, and he had done done well by me on a, on a feature movie before, and I was a huge fan of Sarah Connor Chronicles, and I I heard he was on board. Mm -hmm. They told me Kane was on board, Danielle Harris. Mm -hmm. uh, and since I knew that we were kind of going to be the principals, along with uh, an old uh, heroine of the Nightmare on Elm Street movies, mm -hmm. Lisa Wa Wilcox, and I mm -hmm. said, you know, sign me up. I really believe in this thing. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and we left it up to our writer, Aaron Drain, to kind of consolidate this, this sort of like feature idea into these webisodes, which mm -hmm. is, a, is a kind of a new process for us all yeah. to wrap our, our heads around, mm -hmm. actually communicating a story in, in, in five to seven to eight minutes yes, sir. And, and kind of having them blend and overlap and, and hold the suspense. Mm -hmm. But uh, I just saw the trailer this morning mm -hmm. and I am so proud to be on board this and I, and I, I can faithfully tell my fans that uh, it's, they'll really get their money's worth if they, if they tune in. Awesome. I am really looking forward to it. Kane, any words on that? Uh, I, I agree the same thing. The, the quality of this production, given the, um, the budget amount that uh, was handed, it, the quality is amazing. The cast is great. And it's going to look like a feature film, even though it's small uh, webisodes. And I, I'm, I'm sure we're going to continue with more of them. You know, years ago, I, I worked on a, on, a, on a series in the early 80s called V, and it elevated, it raised the bar yeah. for special effects on American television. Up until then, it was just some green chick chasing William Shatner around. <laughs> and we yeah. brought in John Dykstra from Star yeah. Wars and CGI, early mm -hmm. CGI, to television. And I feel the same way, uh, uh, you know, about Fear Clinic for, for, for fearnet.com. Mm -hmm. I think we've really, really raised the bar uh, for production value and storytelling on the internet. And, you know, Robert Hall's effects in, in, in just the first five webisodes are amazing. I mean, I don't flinch much. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to tell you, the particular episode, Phobia, on, uh, on the girl that was afraid of bugs, mm -hmm. let me tell you, it makes you squirm. Well, I come from Louisiana, so I'm not well, too... Happy. Yeah, I mean, happy you know, I, I'm, I'm good with all that. Um, now, both of you guys are iconic icons in the horror industry. What are you teaching these new and young actresses and actors about horror movie making? Well, on this show, I'm learning because I'm going to I almost called up all of our people at uh, Comcast and, and, and Fear.net because I mean, at Fearnet.com because the, the cast, when I first went to the read around at Robert Hall's shop, was so extraordinary. I, I didn't want any of them to die. I wanted them to stay along. So I'm not, I don't have anything to tell these kids. They're all wonderful and gifted and talented. Yes, sir. What are you doing, Kane, to get them scared and get them ready for their, for their debut on screen with you and with Robert and, you know, all that good stuff, man? What do you, what do, you do? Well, as you probably know, I always mess with people when mm -hmm. I'm on the set. I like yeah. to keep them uh, kind of off balance and there's going to be some good uh, uh, B-roll footage of some <laughs> of the things that I do to people in the hallways of the clinic. Um, but, you know, I, I just, I, I like to keep them a little bit um, off balance. I think what, it helps. Was that, was that you that left the tarantula in Daniel Harris's trailer? Yes. Uh, oh, okay. So yeah. sure. <laughs> awesome, guys. Now, I've followed your careers ever since the 80s, even though I'm 24 years old and I, you guys were scaring my parents when I was a kid. Um, I, I loved uh, all, all your movies. I mean, you know, I, you what guys. Next? I show my bald spot? <laughs> You guys, oh man, but um, no, like I, I've loved your movies and two of your movies I, that I really love and I want to confirm uh, Hatchet 2. Is it confirmed? Are you going to be Victor Crowley in Hatchet 2? Uh, yes, I am. We're not sure exactly of the start date. We're hoping for November, uh, but we're definitely going to do it. Awesome. And Strange Land 2. 
Are you down? Well, I, the script is terrific uh, for both Strangeland 2 and for uh, 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 2001 Maniacs 2. Yes, I was about to ask Great that. scripts. Yeah. I think we're leaving money on the table if we don't make them. Uh, now it's mostly scheduling mm -hmm. for Strangeland, and I think that uh, Mr. Tim Sullivan is still finishing the financing for 2001 Maniacs. But, yeah, I'm, I'd be up for both of those sequels. Awesome, and I and both of those endings for Hatchet and and uh, 2001 Maniacs, they both gripped you like you didn't expect that, you know. And, right on my nipples. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> like a man called horse. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And <laughs> like I just I just love the endings. And are we going to be expecting those types of endings to lead us off to a, a third Hatchet and a third Strangeland? Uh, not Strangeland. Sorry, uh, 2001 Maniacs. Well, I don't know. I mean, I don't know how far we can go with, with 2001 Maniacs before it gets ludicrous. But I, I know that the second script is better than the first. Mm -hmm. And it's, 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 it's tricky, though, in storytelling. You know, we're going through this now with Fear Clinic mm -hmm. on, 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 on how to, to take... We have all these great ideas for yeah. phobias, but we want to now start bleeding some of the webisodes mm -hmm. together so that... I mean, bleed the webisodes Ble together. It's a poor <laughs> choice or a good choice of words. But literally, so we're overlapping yeah. the characters... Uh, you know, even though we're, we're really kind of focusing on one fear or one phobia per show, we kind of want it to blend into the next one a little bit. It should, it should have its own beginning, middle, and end of itself. And it's the same thing is true of feature films. You know, they have to stand on their own, but yeah. you also kind of want to set up the next one as well. Right. Is that the same as well with Hatchet 2? Well, you know, I, I, I always felt that Victor Crowley uh, was a pretty badass character and, in fact, kind of makes Jason look like a bitch. In a way. <laughs> and I never could have said that before, but uh, and now, now we're working towards Villa Toro being uh, better than both of them. So. Awesome. Yeah, Villa Toro in, uh, in Fear Clinic, the, the, the guard, the character, the male nurse that, uh, that came plays. And I, I sort of am holding a kind of secret and a, and a, and a, a parole uh, a phone call over his head, but uh, it's funny because I actually go from better to worse eventually, and, and Kane actually goes from worse to better. Uh, awesome, awesome. Well, thank you, two classic icons. Thank you so much for being a part of Monkey Toss TV. Catch you guys later. Hi, this is Kane Hodder from Fear Clinic on uh, fearnet.com. You're watching Monkey Scrote. Hi, this is Kane Hodder from Fear Clinic. You're watching Monkey Balls. Ah. Hey, hi, this is Kane Hodder from Fear Clinic. You're watching Monkey Toss. Thanks, man. Robert England here, Dr. Andover on FearNet.com's Fear Clinic. And you're watching Monkey Toss TV. Toss that monkey.